Hi, my name is Chris Sogonek, and in this video, I'm gonna be discussing the autofocus capabilities and overall speed of Nikon's mirrorless flagship, the Z9. As Nikon's first flagship mirrorless camera, the Z9 has to fill some very ambitious shoes, as the D6 is one of the most capable cameras on the market when it comes to autofocus. What with new subject detection algorithms developed using deep learning, and by pairing that with higher speed autofocus calculations, an incredibly powerful XSpeed 7 processor, and Nikon's first full frame stack CMOS sensor, the Z9 is capable of autofocus tracking performance that doesn't just match the D6, it's superior to it. The Z9 also expands the number of autofocus options that users can select from. You now get a dynamic area AF, small, medium, and large option. And as a first in our Z bodies, 3D tracking is also now available. When using this mode, it consists of a single autofocus point that will follow your subject throughout the frame. To ensure the most tenacious tracking capability, this is really where the development of the Z9's autofocus using deep learning comes into play. Whether you're using 3D tracking, wide area small or large, or even auto area AF, the Z9 has the world's largest variety of different subjects that it can detect, all done without having to change any menu settings. The camera can detect human faces, eyes, and even their upper bodies. This means whether your subject is facing towards you, away from you, even if they're upside down, the Z9 can detect and track them. For animal detection, the bodies, heads, and eyes of dogs, cats, and now even birds are no problem for the Z9. Along with the new addition of birds, there's also a vehicle subject detection mode that includes cars, trains, bicycles, motorbikes, and planes. In total, that's nine different subjects that the Z9 can automatically detect. And if you do want to isolate just a single subject type, you can easily do that from within the menu. While the speed and tracking performance of the Z9's autofocus system is impressive, let's take a look at other aspects of speed found in the camera. Now it all starts when you turn the camera on, and the startup time has been drastically shortened, with the Z9 being ready to shoot when you are. From there, let's look at the continuous drive speeds. Thanks to the stacked CMOS sensor, the XP7 processor, and dual Type-B CF Express cards, you can shoot at 20 frames per second, regardless of whether you want to shoot raw, JPEG or RAW plus JPEG. If you still want 45 megapixels and only need JPEGs, you can turn the camera into C30 mode, giving you 30 frames per second still with autofocus and exposure. And if you turn the camera into C120 mode, you now get 11 megapixel JPEGs at an astonishing 120 frames per second still with autofocus and exposure. So not only are you getting really impressive continuous drive speeds, but every part of this camera has been designed for speed. The readout of the stack CMOS sensor, the new XSpeed 7 processor that is 10 times the processing power of a Z7 II, the speed and detection capabilities of the autofocus system, and the electronic only shutter that can reach speeds of 1 32,000th of a second. And all of this contributes to how powerful and fast of a camera the Z9 is, regardless of the type of photography that you do. To learn more about the Z9, please visit our website.